Okay, it's Rebel Many here once more, and I am standing in Bitcoin Amsterdam on the Skier City Gallery wall, stood next to the one and only Jonat Banks. How are you doing, Jonat? How are you enjoying Amsterdam so far? I'm good. I'm really good, yeah. I just came for the day, so I'm wishing I would have stayed the night, but... but there's so much to do uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, yeah, when I, saw, when I saw Amsterdam from the bus to here, from the train, I was like, oh, I should have stayed longer. You get, okay. to, you get to come experience again. a little bit. Yeah, you can come again. <laughs> and from what I've been hearing, and maybe on next year as well. Yeah, so, exactly. yeah, who knows? You could could be here next year doing the same thing, talking about art and celebrating all things Bitcoin. Yeah, totally. And we, we stood, just to get the listeners, because they, they can't officially see anything we're doing here, stood in front of your piece, your brand new piece. And this is called A Brave New World. How would you describe your piece to people that are listening okay well it's it's actually not a new piece this painting is from 2019 i think and it's a painting it's it's oil on canvas and it's a painting kind of like the the idea here which is why it fit in this in bitcoin amsterdam's because it's it's kind of like the 17th century dutch paintings of merchants in the 17th century so in like dutch history the 17th century was like the golden age and well in all of my pieces i like to take a story from history and connect it to to bitcoin and what's happening today so this piece was about the dutch golden age of when they started when they started doing like these big enterprises in the far east and it was the first time there was a multinational corporation it was the first stock market as we know the stock market today so it's kind of like these new frontiers it was the tulip bubble it had a lot of things that are connected to what we're doing now with bitcoin so i kind of took and then a lot of people that got rich in that time had their portraits taken and they were always in this kind of format so it was the merchant and then it was usually like a turkish rug because a lot of the trade was also with Tur between turkey and the netherlands and then there were things on the on the table that was kind of like the things either the things they were selling or the things or they usually had like a compass or things that were part of their part of their story. So I did like the same composition and it was like a bitcoiner. And yeah, I took like things from like Turkish coffee. I I took I put the tulips because in 2019 it was like there was a lot of talk of this is just a bubble, it's just a bubble, so I put in the tulips. I've seen some tulips today actually, they've got a giant load of tulips inside the main really? hall actually yeah. to kind of play on the similar similar meme as well. You've also got, in the picture, you've also got some tea as well. Yeah. And an hourglass. And what's, what's the hourglass in that picture? Is that pointing to time passing with Bitcoin or yeah, it's the like blocks? This new, it's like this new time. I think it, it, it's also one of the things that they had in the 17th century painting. And, and today also, yeah, like the passing of time and let's see what happens, like the past and the future connecting together. Yeah, and it's touching like one of the tulips. Ah. I kind of took all of the, the memes together and all of the stories together. So. And, and that's what I particularly really like about your art, is that when you pick up a Yonat Bax piece, yeah, it's not just a picture, you're actually getting a full story. I don't mean even saying a full story, it's actually a full-blown novel in some <laughs> cases. So, you know, there's lots to go through, and I, and I urge anyone listening to go on Scarce.City and have a look at this wonderful piece. One of the uh, one of the striking things about this this particular piece is perhaps the the, the the trainers as well on the floor. So is this to, to kind of get the new and the old balanced as well? Yeah, it's the new and the old. It's also this was one of the. So I think the story of my paintings is also kind of my story with Bitcoin, and this is actually one of the 
one of the big accounts that were in 2017 and it was someone that was doing like trading and yeah it was kind of like a trademark of his so I put in the sneakers as well. I really like it because it, it's at the first glance you think oh this could have been painted in the 17th century as, yeah. as you kind of scan from top of the picture and then as you go towards the bottom. This is, this is actually like this I painted this from a real like model and we went to a costume shop to get the whole costume and the costume so the, the what he's wearing is like a Dutch outfit and the and the hat was I got it especially made as like a Turkish hat. Wow. So I went to to a hat designer and gave him a I showed him like because these hats were the hats that were worn also in that in that time period but by Turkish like higher novelty no, like noble so yeah so he took like paintings of these kind of hats and made a replica of the hat so I still have the hat at home that's amazing I think don't think people understand like when you actually go and create pieces of art the work and everything that goes yeah, into yeah. the I had to brand. find a Turkish rock. Like these are all things. Like everything you see in the painting was actually a frock that I had to find. So, so that, and yeah. and it shows as well with the attention to detail, the use of oils. Is it, do you enjoy working with oils? Because I know you've yeah. worked in other mediums before. Is this your preferred medium for painting? Yeah, yeah. I prefer oil because it doesn't. It because it takes time for it to dry, so you can. So you can paint, a, you know, if I paint the next day, it's still not dry, so I can still keep working on it. Whereas in acrylic, for example, it's like starting the painting all over in a way because it gets dry really fast. That's really cool. I haven't actually tried all the paintings yet because I've, I've left it to the masters, you know, like yourself. And it's definitely a medium I want to explore at one particular point. You can see with all the movement, the way the light hits the character in the actual painting, it's a really exquisite piece. And I, I strongly urge anyone who's listening to go and have a look at it on Skiers, it's Dot City and the auction site. So you're only here for uh, in Amsterdam for a day. Do you, are you doing a, re a whistle stop tour of the canals, or is, is I don't think I have time. I think I'm just here <laughs> and then going from here to the airport. So oh, this, next this, time I have to come to Amsterdam properly. Definitely, yeah. that'd be great. You know, enjoy the canals, enjoy the tulips. You know yeah, uh, exactly. that, that you painted here. So Yona, I thank you very much for your very precious time here thank in Amsterdam you. and talking about your piece A Brave New World which as we said is on Skier Star City now available for bidding. <laughs>